Let me show you how to perform first setup on the Xiaomi Redmi A5. So first of all, you will need to power on your device. For me, it's already powered, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. Uh, click on the button right here, the smaller one, and hold it for around five seconds until your screen uh, lights up. If uh, this doesn't happen, then I recommend to just uh, charge your device. You will need to get a additional charger as this device doesn't come with any and then charge your phone a bit until it will power on. Next step, you will see the exact same screen that I have right here. Maybe it will be in different language and you can change this language by clicking on the button right here. Then choose whichever language you like on your phone. You can go for the vision settings to adjust the accessibility during a setup and also we can perform emergency if you need then we can click on uh, the start next step is to pick a region for your phone i'm gonna go with the poland and then we can move on here you will need to agree uh, to the privacy policy and user agreements and etc you can read them through if you like i'm just gonna skip it Next step is to connect your device with the SIM card. It's optional, but you can do it by removing the SIM tray right here on the left side of your phone using the SIM ejection tool that does come with this device. Uh, so I'm going to actually skip it. Next uh, is uh, to set up uh, this device using your previous device. If you want to transfer any everything from your previous phone to this one, you can perform the Android or iPhone setup and then uh, you will see instructions on how to perform that specific setup. In this case, I'm just gonna click on skip to set this phone as a brand new device. Here we need to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network. You can try the offline setup, but uh, I'll would prefer to actually connect to the network, so I'm just gonna do it, but off the camera. Okay, so I'm already connected uh, to my uh, network and uh, now our phone will get ready for the further setup. So let's just wait a moment. Okay, and next step would be to connect uh, or sign in to your uh, Google account. And I also strongly recommend to provide your email address right here for the Gmail or Google account and also uh, the password in the next step. But I'm gonna skip it right here. Uh, I don't want the account right now to be logged in. Next step is uh, to uh, actually provide a pin password for your phone. If you want any kind of screen protection, you can do it right here. You can even change to different options by going to the screen lock options and then you can choose pattern, pin or password. I'm gonna skip the password. I don't want it on this specific phone. Then we have uh, Google services uh, and we also need to accept or not to all of the things that you will find here. You can read them through if you like or just click on accept to proceed. Then we can uh, choose our browser and search engine. 
So for the browser, I'm gonna go for Google Chrome. You can choose whichever one you like, like Firefox or Opera or any other right here. And the same applies to the search engine. You can go for Google or anything that you can find on this list. Then uh, we can uh, review additional apps that you can download like uh, from Google Files by Google or Google Wallet. I'm going to click on OK. Then there's basic settings. You can send usage and diagnostics data, uh, set up personalized ads and uh, agree to user experience program. I'm going to accept to all and proceed. Then you can set up your screen lock with the wallpaper carousel. Here I actually recommend to just skip it. You can then enable it in the settings if you like or disable it in the settings if you like. Uh, but uh, I don't like it. I'm just going to skip it. Okay, so our phone is actually ready. As you can see, we are in the uh, home screen and that is uh, basically everything that I wanted to show you. So thanks so much for watching and if you like this video, please consider subscribing.